Good morning everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is a kind of get ready with me um, everyday makeup routine sort of video um, with a little Q&A added in there too. So many of you guys have asked me for an updated makeup routine and I love doing makeup as you guys are probably aware but I don't know like I just don't often do makeup videos because as I mentioned in a vlog I just don't feel like I'm a beauty guru like I just I don't know how I feel about recording it even though I actually really enjoy recording them but i just i don't know i'm just rambling at this point so i am going to be showing you guys what i do in my everyday makeup routine um i don't know if it's updated from the last one i haven't actually watched the last one for a while so yeah i'm just going to be showing you guys what kind of products i use i did also mention in my previous vlog about the products that i use but i didn't show you how i actually apply my makeup so I'm really excited to be filming today's video for you. I also, wait for it, I'm going to be trying out the new, um, I say the new, it's not new. It's new for me because I only just bought it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation. So I'm going to be trying this. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna mix it with my current foundation. With this, you can actually use it either on its own or mixed with a foundation. But I have had a little breakout down here, so I do wanna cover that up. And the best way for that is like concealer and foundation. So I'm probably just gonna mix this and see how I get on. I'm really hoping <laughs> that this is the right shade i have really been debating buying this i i don't know about anyone else but i really struggle with finding my foundation color and i've got really bad flashback from when i went to birmingham one weekend for like my birthday and i really wanted to get the urban decay all nighter foundation i think that's what it's called and the woman at the counter color matched me and obviously i fake tan um, and when I got home, I kid you not, I tried it and it was so orange, like it was so bad. And then I went back the next day, um, I think we were in Birmingham all weekend, and yeah, I went back the next day and they wouldn't let me return it. And I was literally like, you've colour matched me completely wrong. It was so awful. So I've got like, I've got memories of that and it's put me off buying foundation. So I really hope that this is the right shade. I got it in 4.5, which is medium. The woman at the counter actually said that a lot of people have been reaching for this if they fake tan because it kind of just looks the best. So I'm really hoping. So after that ramble i really hope that you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a like if you do and also subscribe to my channel if you're new i post videos every wednesday and sunday i also just want to say before we jump into this i have been a lot more active over on tiktok and i would really appreciate it if you use tiktok to go over and follow me on there because there will be a lot more videos i have made the decision to kind of do tiktok a lot more as well so if you would like more content from me definitely go over and follow on my tiktok um so yeah let's go on with the video and i really hope you enjoy it okay headband is on and we are ready so the first thing i'm going to use is the charlotte tilbury magic cream for my um kind of primer i like to use it as a primer and um, because it just is so glowy it is honestly incredible i just i use this all the time as you guys are probably aware if you watch my videos often it's just one of my favorite products ever. So I literally just apply it like that <laughs> and uh, just rub it in. Right, so this is where the fun begins now because I'm just about to try the Flawless Filter. I'm really, really excited about this. So I'm taking the Fit Me Foundation. This is my favorite foundation. It is in 128, which is Warm Nude. And it is the one that I have been using for so long now. So I'm just gonna pop some on the back of my hand. Normally, I would just apply it straight onto my Beauty Blender, but obviously I'm mixing it. So I don't wanna get it anywhere because I'm wearing gray. So I've just put a fair bit on the back of my hand just because I really like full coverage and I'm going to add some of the flawless filter to the back of my hand I'm really hoping that this is going to be okay 
decided just to put some on my face and then add the foundation on after. I'm scared. I don't even know how much I'm supposed to apply. I'm just winging it. I feel like I have got a lot of product. Okay. So far, I feel like the colour might be okay. That looks pretty good, don't it? I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but I'm hoping you are. And first thing I'm noticing is the glow. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is so glowy. So normally the foundation that I use doesn't look like this. I'm sorry, what? I always apply it down my neck as well, just in case of any color difference. It's easier to hide it um, and you can just blend it in. I feel like my tan does need to be slightly lighter, uh, lighter, darker. To be honest, my tan actually didn't go as well as it normally does this time. I'm, I'm actually thinking about trying a different tan. I actually need to pick up some more Bondi Sands tan because I have run out and I'm currently using the St. Marie's one. Okay, so that's the foundation. Honestly, I look so much more glowy than I do without the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. I actually think I love it. Like this is like a perfect foundation for summer. You know when you want that really nice glowy look. And I'm actually looking forward when my skin doesn't have a blemish down here. Um, I'm really looking forward to trying the flawless filter on its own. That, that will be a real test. So if you want to see that, let me know and I'll do that for you. Or I might do it over on my TikTok. So the next thing I'm going to apply is my concealer. My concealer is the Last Imperfection Collection lasting perfection collection is the collection last imperfecting concealer and i get this in the shade extra fair which is number four so i literally just apply it down my t-zone of my face now i always make sure to like dab and not brush because i find that stuff applies better and it's better coverage if you dab it I also really do need to clean this beauty blender so no one judge me. And then I'm going to apply some concealer under my eyes. I apply this in like little dots. I don't know why. I just have done it that way for ages. And I'm just going to blend that in. I like this because it brightens the under eye and I just love this concealer because the coverage is so good. Like, look at that. Wow. So now that that's done, I'm going to apply my bronzer. I use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I just use it on a brush like this. These are the peaches and cream brushes and this is the PC081. As you can see, it's like slightly angled, so it's really good for bronzer because you can just dab it in. If you see me looking over here, by the way, it's because the mirror is there if you haven't already guessed that. I'm just thinking, should we start doing the Q&A questions? Maybe we should. Um, let me just see what questions I've got on here. So if you ever want to be involved in these videos and send me questions, just head over to my Instagram because I always ask over on there if you have any questions for these sort of videos. So the first question I have is any holidays or weekend breaks planned? <laughs> no, absolutely none. Obviously, we just went away to Manchester a few weeks ago, which was really lovely. It was for Callum's birthday, but we don't have any plans to go away at the moment we might go and visit some family this summer um but we need to just sort it out that's a lie we do actually have one trip planned which is a family trip um so it's me callum my sister and her boyfriend and my mum my stepdad and my brothers so we're actually going for a weekend away to alton towers which is so exciting and um, we're actually staying in one of those tree houses 
I am so excited. If you guys haven't seen these tree houses, they are incredible. And it's got like, I think it's three bedrooms, which obviously means that we're all, oh no, it's four bedrooms. We're all staying in the same tree house. There's a hot tub, there's, um, there's like this really cute room which I think my sister and her boyfriend are staying in. Um, we're staying in a room that has like a little balcony. Um, but I think it's twin beds so me and Callum might end up having to sleep <laughs> in two separate beds which is so funny. But we're going in June so we're thinking it's going to be really hot so it might not be that much of a problem. Yeah we're really excited about that. I always enjoy going away with my family so we are yeah going for a weekend away in june but other than that we haven't actually got anything planned um we might go on holiday towards the end of the year but at the moment we're still a bit unsure on like traveling ab abroad like i don't want to lose any money because the last time we booked to go away we lost some money from the holiday we were meant to go away to crete and we were going with my sister and her boyfriend and obviously me and callum and we weren't able to get the money back for our flights so yeah i don't want to lose any more money on holidays i don't want it to be cancelled so i don't want to like get my hopes up and then the holiday be cancelled so we're not really sure at the moment what we are going to do we might go away for my birthday which is in september we're thinking about maybe like a coastal uk break but we literally have nothing planned which is really sad and very unlike us so yeah nothing nothing exciting if we can go away towards the end of the year we might but again it's just something that we're gonna take as it comes but we will definitely look into going away for my birthday because yeah we want to go on like a, a nice uk staycation or something so i've done my bronzer and now i'm gonna do my blusher so normally i do actually use the lottie powder blusher but i really fancy a liquid blusher today so this is the i literally don't even know how you say it dwtn paris blusher this actually was in a glossy box a while ago and um, probably a few months ago now and i really do like it so i'm just gonna apply the smallest amount because a small amount of this goes a really long way and i'm just going to put three dots either side and then i'm just going to use my finger to dab it in <laughs> like cream blushes when you want to have like that glowy look um so yeah this is gonna be a vibe when i first got this though i didn't realize how like how far it goes with like the smallest amount so i used to apply so much and then i used to get really stressed out because it looked awful okay and now that's done i'm gonna do my eyebrows so i'm using the revolution microblading effect eyebrow pencil this is so good like so good and i really really love it it just looks a bit more natural than my last eyebrow pencil but with this i am going to try my best because my eyebrows need to be tinted and when my eyebrows need to be tinted it's not great because i can't actually see where my eyebrow hairs are because my eyebrows are blonde like they are so blonde and um it's just so difficult to do them. I also hate doing my eyebrows on camera. I'm gonna have to get a mirror in for this. Let's get another question while we're waiting for me to do my brows. Someone asked if there's any luck with the house, like looking for a new house what's the situation with that and i have touched upon it a few times but we are not looking at the moment because our contract doesn't run out until august so there's literally no point us looking to rent a new place because the contract isn't up yet so we're probably going to start looking next month or the month after but we're not entirely sure whether we are actually going to move yet or not we might wait until the end of the year in the area that we live in there aren't actually many houses for rent at the moment it's really it's a really competitive market at the moment for renting in our area the one that we want to live in and i think i'm really fussy as well so the amount of time it took for us to get this place 
I think something really special has got to come along for us to want to move out of here. Of course we want a garden, we want to move, of course we, we want to do all of that, but I would rather move somewhere that we like more than this place. And I actually really, really like this place. So it's gonna be hard to beat, like it's it's hard to beat. And we've decorated it. I'm really happy with like the decor and stuff at the moment. I really like how cozy we've made the home feel. And yeah, it would really take something special to make us wanna leave here. It would have to tick all of the boxes um, because the next place after this one, I wanna buy. So this will be kind of the last rental that we go into, hopefully. <laughs> Obviously not everything works out the way as planned. We're just trying to be realistic about it. I don't actually mind staying here until the end of the year if we had to. It means that we'd get like our last Christmas here. We would, because this year we're hosting again. So it'll be like the last Christmas we host in this house. Um, so it'd be quite nice if we got to stay here until the end of the year, but we'll just see how how it goes. This year we are just completely winging it. Like we're not going by any plans, like set plans. We are just seeing what happens because life is just so unpredictable at the moment. So I just think going with the flow is the best way. <laughs> I think the only thing that I really, really want now is a dog. Like we have been talking about having a dog so much but obviously it wouldn't be fair to have a golden retriever in a house with no garden because we want a golden retriever puppy but when that day comes it's just going to be so special like I'm really looking forward to the future I think it's just going to be amazing and I do have a really good feeling about this year still so who knows what will happen you just have to be open to all the opportunities that come your way and just see how it goes. Right, so those are my eyebrows done. Um, I feel like they have gone a lot better than I thought they were going to. <laughs> and then I like to go around it with a little angled brush. So this one here. And I just pop a bit of foundation on there and outline the brows, like kind of just draw a line underneath them, if that makes sense, just to shape them a little bit more. So just take the tiniest bit that was not a tiny bit actually. That was not a tiny bit at all. Why did my foundation play me like that please? Look how much is on there. Rub a little bit off on a cotton pad. I'm getting my nails done today and I'm so excited. I think I might do a TikTok on that as well. As you guys can guess, I have really been enjoying doing TikTok. I just really like it. And every opportunity I get to do a TikTok, I'm like, yeah, I wanna pull out my phone and do a TikTok, which is great because I don't know, I just feel like there's no pressure for TikTok. Like with my YouTube, I put a lot of pressure on myself. And sometimes it's nice just to step back and actually enjoy it and like be in the present moment. I think I, I the problem with me is I focus a lot on the future and I don't really necessarily focus a lot on the past. I think you either focus on a lot of the past or a lot of the future. And I focus a lot on the future and I don't really spend a lot of time in the present moment, which is something that I'm really trying to focus on. And like gratitude and stuff, I'm really trying to focus on that. And I'm really trying to stop putting pressure on myself. And I keep having to remind myself like I'm only 23 and it's so difficult. I, I don't know if anyone else feels like this if you're around my age or like you're in your 20s. I find that the 20s, especially over the past couple of years, have like they have this real pressure around it. And it's like, oh, you're 20 like you're 23 now you have to be starting to think about buying a house and having loads of savings and knowing what you want to do in your career like you've got to have all of this sorted you've got to be in a relationship you've got to be thinking about marriage and babies but you actually don't and i keep having to remind myself and i feel like sometimes that is why i do feel a little bit crappy and a bit down and it I love social media, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. It has so many benefits, but it has so many cons as well. And one of them is the pressure that you feel from seeing everyone else your age doing all of these things. And the key is just don't 
think about it don't think about it i've had to actually reduce like how much time i spend on social media because of the pressure of seeing other people doing all of these things but you've got to remember that social media isn't real life and i feel like a lot of people have forgotten that and i want to be one of those people on the internet for you lot that does show the real stuff and does talk about the real stuff and there is a lot of pressure but just remember that social media not everyone shows every second of their life they don't show the bad bits mainly it's the good bits of people's lives and i have to keep reminding myself that because there are things that i don't show you like you don't see the nights where i endlessly cry like and bawl my eyes out you don't see that but it does happen and not everyone has their shit together so just because they look like they do doesn't mean they actually do. I don't know how I got so deep then, I'm really sorry. This is actually just meant to be like an updated makeup routine video, but I just think that it's something really important to talk about. It's so important to talk about your feelings and I don't always have my shit together, even if I look like I do. I hope I don't portray that. Like I don't wanna always come across like I have my life together because I don't. I have no idea what the future holds. No one does, you literally don't know. Obviously I know what I plan and like that I want to happen and I know my goals, but you don't know how it's gonna work out. And the 20s, I feel like this year especially, I have decided that I'm just gonna enjoy it. Like I'm just, I'm only going to be 23 once. I'm only going to be this age once. I'm only going to be in this moment once. So I just feel like you should enjoy life. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing and just focus on you. Just enjoy what you're doing, if that makes sense whatsoever. Or have I just rambled for five minutes or so? So anyway, <laughs> eyebrows are now done and I'm just gonna apply my eyeshadow. I'm literally just using the Primark Nude Basics palette and I really like this colour. I always go for like a nude beigey colour for my eyeshadow just because, I don't know, like I feel like it brings out the colour of my eyes a little bit more. I'm also just gonna dab the eyeshadow into the crease because that makes it look so much nicer and apply nicer. This gets the colour right in there. I feel like I just went on like Oprah or something. <laughs> what happened then? Do I think I have my own like therapy talk show? <laughs> something just came over me. But I really hope that that's like helped someone because I would love if someone that I watched spoke about stuff like that. It's very rare nowadays and I don't know why because I love hearing people talk about stuff like that. It makes me feel comforted. It makes me feel like I'm not the only one. So I really hope that that has given you a little bit of motivation. And now I'm gonna just use some powder underneath my eyes. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just gonna take a little beauty blender. So I'm just gonna use this one here and dab a little bit under my eye. Oh my gosh, my phone is going mental. Oh my days, what is going on? My phone just is going crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just gonna let the powder sit for a minute and I'm going to apply my mascara. This is the False Lash Queen Mascara from Primark. I just, I'm not really that fussed about what mascara I use. Um, I would probably like to try some new ones, but for now, I'm very content with this just because I wear false eyelashes, so it's just gonna be underneath my lashes, really. I really need to tint my eyelashes though. I haven't done it for so long. And my eyelashes are blonde, so <laughs> I need to do them. Um, before I apply my under eye mascara, I'm just going to go in with a dark brown color. This is something that I've recently added to my routine. So I just take this color here on a really small little brush and I will apply it on my bottom lash line. I really like this and I actually want to buy a brown mascara because I've actually started using false eyelashes a little bit less. So like on the days where it's just cash, I won't wear eyelashes. Whereas before I would wear eyelashes like every single day. 
but I've started wearing them less and I've heard that brown mascara and brown eyeliner are really good for blue eyes. As you can see, I have blue eyes and apparently it brings out the color like a lot more. So I've started doing this, just applying it, not like all the way, kind of just in the corner here. And I really like how it looks. So I kind of just apply it like halfway and I feel like it just brings out the color of my eyes a little bit more. So then I'll go in with my mascara and apply to the bottom lashes. Does anyone else pull those really weird faces when they're, when they're applying mascara? I can't apply mascara without like moving my mouth. I don't know why. Like I just pull a really weird face. I'm trying to do it without pulling the face now. Okay, so that is the mascara applied. Now I'm just going to brush away the excess powder. And then I'm going to apply my highlighter. This is the Beauty Crop Glow Milk. And I'm just gonna pop a few like drips of it on the back of my hand. I really like this, like look at the shine. This is in the shade Peachin. And I'm just gonna take this beauty blender and put some on the end and just dab it. And then I'm also just gonna apply a tiny bit to the end of my nose and my forehead, like just either side, just above the eyebrow. There we go. And now time for eyelashes. Someone actually asked me to show how I apply eyelashes. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to show you, but I actually apply it with my hands. I don't know if there's an easier way to do it, but I can also apply it with tweezers. I just choose not to because I find it so much easier to do it with my hands, but I will show you the best I can how to do this. <laughs> okay, now for lashes. So I'm actually gonna be using these tiny ones here. So they were actually a, like a full eyelash, but I have cut them down so that it's just kind of the wispy bit at the end and I'm gonna apply it to the end of my eye just to give it a more like natural effect because I wanna go for more like natural makeup today. I've gone for like glowy, natural, more natural makeup. This isn't natural in the slightest but I am just a full coverage kind of girl. So, so I'm just applying the glue. This is the duo glue and I just apply it to the lash line there. And then I just leave it to dry for literally a few seconds. I really don't know how I'm gonna show you this easily. Let me just get my mirror. So I'm just going to stick it to the end of my eye and make sure that it is applied to the lash line. It needs to be as close to the lashes as you possibly can get it. I don't know if you can see that very well. There you go, so that is one eyelash applied. I'm just gonna pop a little bit more mascara on in the corner actually. There we go, so that's one eye. And then I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. I can't actually remember what eyelashes these are, but you can do this for any like set of lashes. So those are the lashes applied and I'm now gonna do my lipstick. So we're nearly done. Right, so for lipstick, I normally use the Toast Lip Liner from Primark, but it is really on its last legs. And I bought a new one the other day from Primark. And if you watch my Primark haul, you would have seen it, but it wasn't in the shade Toast and I can't open it. Oh my gosh, I got it in the Foxy Nude and I've never tried it. So I wanted to see what kind of color this is. But why, why do Primark wrap these up so tight? Does anyone else struggle, especially with acrylics? How the hell do you open these? I've given up with it, guys. I can't open it. Um, so I'm gonna use the last little bit of toast. Now, I always draw in the corners. It's actually like a little hack I think I saw on TikTok or I saw it on Facebook or somewhere ages ago. But to give your lips a more fuller look, you kind of draw in the corners. I don't know where I heard it, but... And I also over 
I overdraw the top. So like my cupid's bow, not too much, but just slightly. Again, just to give them a fuller look. Now I already do have like quite full lips. It's something that people actually used to take the mick out of when I was at school. And now I'm like, honey, everyone gets fillers to make their lips bigger. <laughs> so every cloud has a silver lining. When I was younger, I wish I'd just told my younger self. I wish I could tell my younger self. Don't you worry, because everyone that takes the mick ends up getting filler. Just to have the same look that you have. Younger Sophie would be so proud. So yeah, that is the lip liner. And then I use the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Kim KW. It's literally the only lipstick I wear at the moment because I just love it. And before I did my makeup, I actually put on some lip balm so that my lips looked nicer when I came to apply my lipstick. And then to finish the look, we are using the Seat London Everyday Vacay Setting Spray. This smells like holiday. If you haven't tried it, I really recommend. Oh, it smells like coconut. Absolutely love it. So that is the finished look. Let me take this headband off my head now. <laughs> That is my everyday makeup routine, everybody. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury foundation was incredible. Like, look how glowy my skin looks. I am obsessed. So if you are thinking about making that investment, I 100% would recommend. I would say make that investment, honey. If you've been wanting to get it for a while, just add it to your basket. That's what happened to me. I was in John Lewis and I'd been going on about it for ages and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take the plunge and I feel like the actual colour was pretty good. Pretty good colour match. So I got the 4.5 for anyone that fake tans. Or you can get the 4. I was very torn between the 4 and the 4.5 but I ended up going for the 4.5. But yeah, you could go for the 4 if you wanted a little bit lighter. I really hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I didn't actually answer many questions. I'm so sorry. I just got so like into this video. I've really enjoyed filming it for you and I've really enjoyed spending the morning with you. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video which I think is Sunday. I can't even remember my schedule at the moment. It's either Wednesday or Sunday. Love you guys so much. Bye.